National Black College Alumni Hall of Fame, Chairman's Award. When I was in seventh grade, I was the only uh, elementary kid that played in the high school band. And uh, I played in the band directors dance band. And when I became a seventh grader, I started organizing my own dance band. Every Friday night, I played for the white kids that went to the uh, high school. And on Saturday nights, I played for the black kids in our school. I did that and I kept both sides across town from having a problem. No fighting, no arguments, no nothing. So I kept the kids off the street every weekend, black and white. And that's how uh, I started my, uh, my band. After I graduated from high school, I had a scholarship. Actually, I had two scholarships. One for Florida a and and one for Clark College. At the time, it was called Clark College. I chose Clark College because I wanted to come to a bigger city because they had more opportunities for me to meet key people who are great musicians, or good musicians, and more outlets to play, or venues to play. And that's why I chose to come to Atlanta. And one of the first guys I met was Jimi Hendrix. Neither one of us had a name at the time. What you're looking at is more than just a collection of record albums. This is the life story of Hamilton Bohannon, who learned early the easiest way to make someone smile is through dancing. My father had a barber shop. He had a cafe as well with a jukebox in it. And, and uh, the guys would come and get their haircuts and they would go over there and eat. And uh, they would play the jukebox. And I was about four years old and I used to dance. I really could dance and they would give me money. Bohannon was born here in Noonan, Georgia, back when Peachtree Street was just a dirt road. And I remember when I was a little boy, uh, the street was uh, a dirt street and we had to water it to, to go out and cool off when it got hot because we couldn't go to the swimming pool at the time. What he could do was make a beat, at first on his mother's furniture. I got my sticks. I'd go on her dresser and I'd just be banging away, banging away, banging away on the... Bohannon kept perfecting those drum skills and in the mid-1960s, they caught the attention of a 13-year-old kid called Little Stevie Wonder. It was in, uh, in Louisville, Kentucky, at the convention center. He was on stage playing the piano, practicing. Nobody was in there, but just, just only Stevie. And so uh, he and I became instant friends because I started banging on the piano on top of the piano. He said, oh man, you play the drums. Bohannon ended up backing every big Motown act, from Diana Ross and the Supremes to his good friend Marvin Gaye. <laughs> then, in the 1970s, Bohannon stepped out front, topping the dance charts with disco classics like Foot Stompin' Music and Let's Start the Dance. Come on and do it. Come on and do it. So I decided what I wanted to do with this boom, boom, boom. I said, I want to keep folks dancing. When you're dancing, you're happy. But now, after more than 50 years, the dancing shoe is on the other foot. Bohannon's Georgia hometown will rename Peachtree Street Hamilton Bohannon Drive. I feel like dancing. Hey, <laughs> I feel like doing the Bohannon beat. It's not the first honor given to the music legend, but there's something about this one that really really moves him. They gave me a choice um, and the mayor said, well, maybe you should do it on the street where you were born. And I said, we can stop right there. And that's what I want to do. I want to have it right there where I was born. And, and I want folks to see how it was then. And, and I want to continue to help the street uh, develop. When you first found out about this honor, you thought about your parents, right? I thought about mother and daddy. Yeah. And my father, and I'm not ashamed to say, he could not read and write. I've never seen a man build an empire like he's done. Wow. I mean, for all people. If you, he had a barbershop, if the kids didn't have a father, they didn't have to pay for no, no, he did all that stuff for Wow. Him, all of it. And that's the kind of heart he had, and I think that rubbed off into me and the rest of my family. And something that's still important to you today is passing on the lessons that you learned over your amazing career to young artists, right? You want to make sure young people do this business right. That's right, because it will be a dark day. And that's in all our lives. 
it would be a dark day. So you have to prepare for that. And don't think you're the king just because you get an award, because you might think you what the award say. But deep down inside, you're not until you earn it. Congratulations, Hamilton Bohannon, on your induction into the 2017 Hall of Fame.